In October 2015, a group of us from Leicester City Vineyard travelled to Yangon in Myanmar to support the work of Yangon Vineyard and the Eden Ministry. So over the past couple of days we've had the great privilege of joining the Yangon Vineyard with their church weekend away. Um, you know, this is a church that's made up from, from people from Myanmar itself, um, but also people from across Europe and America. It's been a real pleasure to, to be here. We've, we've led some games for them, we've led worship, and we've done a talk. Um, we've, taking part in the campfire, we've seen their baptisms um, and the thing that's just struck us all so much has been the real community um, that is, is in this church, you know, despite the fact that they're from so many different backgrounds and people here for different lengths of time, um, it's just been amazing to see how well they get on together, to see the fun they all have um, and just the community they have in this church. One of the programmes Eden does in the red light district is it offers HIV testing to pimps and prostitutes right there on the streets. So I had the opportunity to join the team doing this. We headed out into the, the darkness of, of Burma city streets and just parked the car. And I was looking around for the, the mobile HIV unit or what we would have in this country. But it actually turns out Eden uses just the car they're in and small tests. And the pimps in the area know that Eden offers this and they all queued up with the girls and we had a short time just to offer testing but more importantly to give them a leaflet and an opportunity and a way out. It was so powerful for me to just sit next to girls, some as young as 12 and 13 and just give them an opportunity for escape. One girl I was speaking to did then escape the next day she came to the Eden office and we had such joy of seeing her in such few days start to just begin the restoration process. So while we're over in Myanmar we did some work with, the, uh, with New Hope which is the NGO linked to Yangon Vineyard. They do a lot of outreach into the local community in schools, in the boys prison, in the monasteries. Um, we were able to put together a programme which we took out to a, a range of different places. But one of the things we did was um, we went to a Buddhist monastery and there was like boys from the age of 5 to 18. These boys they kind of taught that life's about suffering and uh, that they don't really play games and stuff. But we went along and we, we sang some songs, we played football, we um, played bingo um, and did some juggling. So we were able to see these boys who, who to start with their faces were non-responsive and weren't engaging with what we were doing and we started to see them smile a bit more um, and also had the chance to share the story of the feeding of the 5,000 with them and as I was speaking I could really feel God's compassion on them. One of the things we did whilst we were out in Myanmar um, was we went out to visit the boys' prison. Um, in the boys' prison there's 400 boys aged between 5 and 18. Um, some of them have committed crimes and they've been put in prison without any trial. Um, some have been put there purely because they have disabilities and some are there because they were homeless. While we were at the prison um, you know, we were able to play some games, um, sing some worship songs, share some testimonies um, and really just spread some joy and hope and light in that place. The families of these boys are welcome to, to pick them up at any time, um, but sadly none of them do, um, and they've just left them there until their 18th birthday.
Another thing we were involved in when we were out in Myanmar was we went and um, spent some time with people who had disabilities in Myanmar and the culture there is that uh, people with disabilities are often overlooked so it was good that we could like play some games, get them to kind of draw what their dreams were as well and um, yeah it was like a really positive, positive time and have fun, share a talk and we were able to see like the people like smile, have a good time and like really bring some joy. So one of the projects uh, New Hope do um, is to go into the poorest of the poorest communities in Yangon. And these are areas where um, the government has set up communities um, to filter through the rubbish systems. And as you can imagine, these areas are just filled with disease and rubbish and dirt. But what they've done is they've rented a shack in, in this community and they've invited all the kids in to go through their homework and teach them English, teach them Myanmar and all their other subjects. And it's just incredible to see uh, this glimmer of hope um, and light in literally one of the darkest places I've ever been. One of the main goals of our trip was to support the work of Eden. So we followed them in the streets and then we worked with the girls in the workshops. Something that Eden do is to throw a party for people in the red light area. We literally set up four tables right by the side of the main road with lots of lights and candles. We had music, there was magic, we had stories. We played past the parcel which was just brilliant and to bring just that small element of joy into their lives to show them that there is another way, that they are worth more was incredible. In reflection, this time in Myanmar has left me completely undone. I, I've seen the presence of God in the darkest places in the planet. I've seen joy that I could never see possible because he reaches down and he, he rescues. It is just a delight to see these girls with life back into their eyes. I think if I summarise the whole experience um, is that all the projects we went to visit and all the things we went to see were bringing hope to people's lives, whether that was in the monastery or going to a boys' prison or visiting disabilities. And I'd say especially with what Eden are doing, it's women who've come out of the most horrific things and they're able to have hope in the future. So I think before going out um, to Myanmar, um, I would kind of envisaged that the week would be a time of giving um, and giving all I had, but I never really expected um, to receive what I did during the week. Um, just to be part of uh, the team and the community there and to learn from guys that do this um, as a lifestyle uh, was just an incredible privilege um, and just one that I'll remember for the rest of my life. One of the things that, that really struck me from our time in Myanmar um, was that you can go into a place and you can feel absolutely helpless when you see what's going on around you um, and you can feel as if you have nothing to give but you just have to put 100% trust in God um, and when you do that he'll just do amazing things through you um, and through the team we've just seen some amazing stories through all the things we've helped out with this week um, and it's just been a real privilege to be part of. <laughs>